Cooped up indoors, need something supremely yummy to keep everyone happy? Then this easy to make, creamy, cheesy bacon taco dip will be perfect. It's time for our kitchen queers. Greetings peeps, welcome to another episode of Kitchen Queers. Mitch in the kitchen here with you. I hope this show finds you and everyone at your house safe and healthy. As I mentioned earlier, on the menu today is creamy cheesy bacon taco dip. This very flavorful dip is perfect for dipping crackers, chips, or veggies. And it also makes a great sandwich spread or topping for crostini. And coming up later in this episode, my partner Chef Philip will be here to taste test the creamy cheesy bacon taco dip. I can't wait to try this. And I'll also be providing you with nutritional information for this recipe. To make the creamy cheesy bacon taco dip, you'll need 8 ounces cream cheese, 1 half cup sour cream, 1 half cup salsa, 2 tablespoons taco seasoning, 1 cup grated cheese, 1 half yellow or white onion, 2 jalapeno peppers, and 4 pieces very crispy bacon. For the salsa element, I'm using salsa I made using a recipe we shared way back in KQ Season 1, Episode 3. I don't know what I was thinking with that hairdo, but I can tell you that this salsa recipe is spot on and perfect for anyone that does not like cilantro. If you prefer, you can use your favorite salsa from a jar. While using prepared taco seasoning from an envelope is certainly easy, today I'm using taco seasoning I mixed up myself. I previously demonstrated this recipe in KQ Season 6, Episode 3, and Season 5, Episode 17. It's really fast and easy to put together and significantly less expensive than an envelope of prepared taco seasoning. As far as the cheese goes, you can use whatever kind of cheese you have on hand. Today, I'm using Colby Jack that I grated fresh. This helps keep the carbs down as pre-grated cheese is usually coated with flour to keep the shreds from sticking together. And if you're not a fan of jalapeno peppers, substitute sweet yellow, orange, or red chili peppers instead. Even half of a bell pepper will work if that's what you have available. So, the first thing to do is set the cream cheese out on the counter so it can soften and come to room temperature. Earlier, I cooked the bacon until the strips were very crispy. You can use whatever cooking method you prefer to make that happen. Once the bacon cools down completely, chop the bacon into small bits. Next, I used a chef knife and cut the onion into a small dice. I prepared the peppers by removing the stems, seeds, and membranes, and then I chopped the jalapeno peppers into a fine dice. With all of the other ingredients measured out, our mise en place is ready. Ready. Now I'm going to set up our trusty stand mixer. I'm outfitting the mixer with a standard paddle attachment. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use an electric hand mixer instead. Okay, with the stand mixer set up, I'm going to dump the entire block of cream cheese into the mixing bowl. Next, add the sour cream. Time to add the salsa. And finally, pour in the taco seasoning. Sometimes cream cheese based dips can be heavy. The key to avoiding that outcome, as my partner Chef Philip often says, is beat the bleep out of it. In this case, beating the bleep out of it means six minutes total on high speed. Start slow and work your way up to high. Halfway through at the three minute mark, turn the mixer off. Next, use the flexible spatula again and scrape down the sides of the mixing bowl. Then continue mixing on high for the remaining three minutes. At this point, we have a nice, light, fluffy mixture. This is exactly what we're looking for. Next, I'm going to scrape off the paddle attachment because I don't want to waste any of this yummy dip. I've removed the bowl from the stand mixer, and I also used the flexible spatula again to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Now it's time to add the jalapeno peppers. Next, add the onions. Time for the grated cheese. Now I'm going to use the rubber spatula again and gently fold all of the ingredients together. At this point, the dip is just about finished. Mmm, it tastes really good. However, I prefer to refrigerate this dip for at least one hour before serving. So, I'm going to transfer the dip to a container with a tight-fitting lid and stash the dip in the refrigerator while I clean up all of this mess. Now that the dip has sufficiently chilled out, I've spooned some of the dip into a pretty bowl. I'm going to sprinkle the top generously with the bacon bits. I prefer this to stirring the bacon bits into the dip because this way the bacon retains its crunchy texture. Today, I'm serving the creamy 
creamy cheesy bacon taco dip with shredded wheat crackers. You can serve the creamy cheesy bacon taco dip with any kind of sturdy crackers, chips, or vegetables you like. And consider using the dip as a spread on toast points to create hors d'oeuvres. The creamy cheesy bacon taco dip is ready to enjoy. <laughs> A one ounce serving of this dip has 124 calories, 10.7 grams fat, 328 milligrams sodium. Total carbs come in at 2.3 grams and there are 4.6 grams protein. Let's give the creamy cheesy bacon taco dip a taste. Mmm, ooh, this is so yummy. The taco seasoning really comes through. The texture is light and fluffy and very creamy. I think this dip is spot on. I predict you're going to love the creamy cheesy bacon taco dip. Let's see what my partner chef Philip has to say about the creamy cheesy bacon taco dip. Hello everyone. Ooh look, creamy cheesy bacon taco dip. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, mmm, tastes like tacos. And that's nice and spicy. Love that taco seasoning. And the onions and peppers, really good. And of course, bacon. Love that bacon. Hey peeps, if you like our show, please click the subscribe button. And when you check the bell symbol, you'll get notifications when we have new videos to view, as well as when we do live streams. Thank you so much for joining us. See, See you, you next time. time. <laughs>